people arrive in Las Vegas from the East Coast every day. Most of them, of course, take a plane. Some of them drive and a few hop on a long distance bus. But how many walk here from New York? That's different. News 3's Jerry Brown tracked down a man who walked to Las Vegas as part of his mission to get help for hospice care. I collapsed from heat exhaustion at 105 degrees. I was unconscious for three hours by the roadside. A songwriter named Coward once noted that only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the noonday sun. This Brit has braved the elements for literally thousands of miles. He's not just out for a stroll. When I began in 1988, I ended up sleeping in bushes beneath the World Trade Center in the middle of New York. I camped by the freeways. Dr. Colin Skinner has walked across his native England and is currently in Las Vegas, en route to San Francisco on his second cross-country hike. He's already gone through three pair of walking shoes, all for a cause. And the message I'm trying to spread on this journey uh, is that you know, hospices are there to help people with serious illness, but to say that hospices need help too, that they need you know, volunteers and they need support from the local community to help as many people as possible. That's a message which resonates with Karen Rubel of the nonprofit Nathan Adelson Hospice. We're very inspired by what he's doing and we're, we're so happy to welcome him to Las Vegas. Rubel says that hospices like Nathan Adelson can do immeasurable good for those facing the end of life experience. We like to say that we can add uh, more life to your days if we can't add days to your life. Here in the garden of this beautiful hospice, many dying patients have doubtlessly reflected back on the highs and lows of their respective lives. As a culture, we continue to be in denial about death, and that's something that hospice advocates say they're trying to change. And what we try to do in the community is to educate people. The more people know about hospice, the less um, uh, scared they are of hospice or the less um, tentative they are about learning more about hospice. Or as Dr. Skinner puts it, people do like to sort of um, just ignore it and hope things will get better or, or not um, deal with the issues. He hopes reports like this one will change the way some people view hospice care. Hospices are all about making the most of life and doing what they can do to support people uh, because often you know, people will be worn out by taking care of their relatives, but with, you know, hospice can step in and help. Dr. Skinner's next stop, the coast of California. He'll be walking through Death Valley to get there. Jerry Brown, News 3.